So anytime we talk about the stock market on this channel, what do you really picture in your mind? Do you see thousands of brokers going up and down shouting at the top of their lungs on the floor? Or do you see this guy? Yeah, this guy. The world's greatest investor, Warren Buffett. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between these guys over here and this guy. Meaning, we're going to be talking about the difference between stock traders and stock investors. So let's get on with the video. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, as always, my name is Harris Kai. And on this channel, we talk about anything personal finance and also personal branding in Nigeria. That is, anything that has to do with building multiple sources of income for yourself so you won't have to rely on just one source of income. So if that sounds like something interesting to you, consider subscribing to this channel and also be active and interactive in the comment section so we can know each other more and also help each other even more. So guys, this is the second video of my 10 days challenge and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I actually started a challenge that I'm going to be posting one video each day for the next 10 days because I kind of dared myself that I'm going to post 70 videos on this channel before the end of this year so i'm going to try and reach 70 videos before the end of this year and i hope you guys enjoyed those 10 videos maybe i'm going to even be posting more than 10 videos before the end of this year well we'll see how it goes so back to the video so first of all let's define these two terms the first one stock investing is the act of spending money on a certain stock with the hopes of it generating even larger benefits in the future while stock trading is the act of buying and selling investments or maybe stocks so just as short as the definition of stock trading, it is also a short term goal. So obviously the names of the individuals who practice these would be stock investors and stock traders. So let's try going through this one more time. Who is a stock investor? A stock investor is someone who puts their money in something with the hopes of that money growing over time, long term. And a stock trader is someone who buys and sells their stock depending on how the market rises or falls with the intention of making a short term profit short term. Investors rely on long term gradual profits while traders rely on short term strategies and tactics. So from what we've already talked about here, let's try and point out some few differences between stock investors and stock traders. Number one, we can say the duration. So for stock trading, we can say it is more of a short term investment and for stock investment, it is more of a long term investment. So any trade that is buying and selling that happens within six months can be considered as stock trading and anyone that goes beyond six months or maybe even a year or even up to a decade or more will be considered as investment. Even someone that buys a stock and sells it within a day or maybe a week can be considered as a trader. So number two, we can say the type of stocks they buy. So mostly for traders, they go for stocks that are kind of popular at the moment or maybe the kind of growing stocks that kind of fluctuates with time. So they buy when it's low and they sell instantly when it goes high to make instant profits. And for investors, they mostly invest in stocks which they trust or maybe they see good potential in them. You know, stocks that will grow with time within maybe six months or maybe even over a year or maybe even over a decade. It just depends on which company you buy the stock in. So next, let's talk about the types of amounts they invest in. So for stock traders, because they rely mostly on fast moving stocks, they mostly invest in large amounts because you know, when they invest in large amounts, they kind of get considerable profits within the time they invest. And for investors, mostly because they decided to hold this stock for long, they can decide to be buying the stocks in small bits over time until they own a huge amount of that stock. So a perfect example would be, let's say an investor buys a single stock for $10 and maybe at the same week or maybe even the same day, that stock decides to move up to $12. You know, to an investor, that $2 won't really be called a profit because they are trying to invest for a long term. And let's just say another trader buys that same $10 stock. And you know, since stock traders are after those small wins, they decide to buy the stock in bulk. So instead of buying just a $10 stock, that stock trader decides to buy a $1,000 stock. So when that same stock moves up to $12, that trader makes a profit of $200 on their $1,000, making it $1,200 in total. So they sell instantly and remove the $200 and maybe decide to buy another stock with that $1,000. You see, they kind of made profit of $200 almost instantly. While stock trading might look and sound more easy and profitable, just so you know, stock trading has a higher risk than stock investing. You need to have it at the back of your mind that the same way you are able to make almost instant profits 
is the same way that you might be able to lose your money almost instantly. So because of the instant gratification that most stock traders are almost always after, most of them buy stocks from companies they have no idea of. To most stock traders, it doesn't really matter which company you buy a stock from as long as you buy the stock when it's undervalued and you sell when the stock is high. So finally, I would say it doesn't really matter which one you are. I'm not trying to criticize anyone or maybe trying to promote anyone. So it depends on you. Maybe if you want to make instant profits, you can decide to go for stock trading. And if you want to make long-term profits, you can decide to go for stock investing. At the beginning of this video, I talked about Warren Buffett because this guy is kind of a legend in stock investing. This guy invests stocks for over decades and he sells and makes a lot of profits from his investments. So I'm not trying to say that, you know, you have to be like him or maybe something like that. You can be like him and you can also decide to be a stock trader because there are a lot of stock traders that make daily profits and some weekly profits. That That's kind of like the source of income they have in their lives or maybe one of the source of incomes they have. So I think I'll also add this. So these are kind of things or maybe factors, you know, that you might need to have or maybe need to know before you move into the stock market space. So I could say these are kind of prerequisites if you really want to survive and maybe grow in the stock market space. So number one, I would say money. So you need to have a capital before you move into the stock market because you cannot buy a stock for free. You know, you need to have something that you would use to buy the first stock you want to buy. You know, from there, maybe if you make a profit, you can then decide to move that money back into the investment that you made or maybe the trade that you made and buy another stock and make more money from that same capital you had in the beginning. It is always wise to invest with money that you won't really be needing instantly you know that's why i kind of adapted this rule the 50 30 20 rule well it depends on how you decide to categorize everything but the rule states that you should divide your income into three different parts 50 percent of your money should go into all your needs your hospital bills your electricity bill you know your transport your fuel money everything that you would need to survive should be in that 50 percent then the 30 percent should go into your investments 30% of your income should go into your investments. Then the 20% could be anything of leisure, maybe anything you want to have, you know, watch movies in the cinema, maybe go out with friends, you know, anything could come out of that 20%. So I hope that at least helps you in maybe, you know, finding a way to start investing in the stock market. And number two, you need to be a risk taker because this is also a business venture that you would have to risk, you know, you'd have to take risks to make money. You can't just put your money in something and always expect a profit because sometimes you might lose your money so you need to be a risk taker to go into the stock market number three is patience you would need to be a very very patient person if you want to invest in the stock market because you know sometimes you buy a stock and it doesn't really grow at that time instantly or maybe it doesn't really grow within the first year or maybe even the first two years so it takes time some stocks take time to grow so if you have that patience you can really watch it grow while you do almost nothing so then finally number four the fourth factor you need to have a bit of knowledge on the stock market before you go into the stock market this is very key you need to know what you're going into you can't just jump blindly into something that you have no idea of so there are a lot of places that you can learn about the stock market you can read blogs you can read on google you know you can read everywhere you can you know watch videos like these videos there are a lot of videos on youtube you can watch and even learn a bit about the stock market so it is always advisable to learn so much about the stock market before you go into it and talking about knowing more about the stock market if you really want to know more about the nigerian stock market and every other thing about the nigerian stock there is a friend of mine that i would strongly suggest that you subscribe to his channel nigerian investor you can find a lot of content about the nigerian stock market and even other extra stuff he talks about on his channel so i strongly suggest you subscribe to his channel and also follow all the videos he talks about the stock market and learn as much as you can so i'll post a link to his channel in the card right up here and also in the description of this video make sure you check it out so question of the day so this question goes to those that are already in the stock market let me know which kind of stocks you buy and also let me know which kind of person are you a stock trader or a stock investor it doesn't matter you can let me know in the comment section and we can discuss even more about that in the comment section so guys i think that will be all for me today and i really hope this video helped you in knowing more about the difference between stock trading and stock investing and maybe even knowing more about the stock market in general so if you like this video and also learned a lot from this video go ahead and smash the like button right there and also click on the subscribe button if you also want to be part of the family and also be part of the conversation so if you have any questions go ahead and let me know in the comment section and i'll be there to respond to you guys 
with as much value as I can and as soon as possible as I can. So guys, that will be all from me today. And as always, don't forget, go out there and create, but don't hate. See you in the next one. Peace.